Hey, what's going on? Jordan, Modern Day Muscle, back at you with another video. Yo, I'm gonna be adding something to my desk setup. I'm gonna do a little product review and install as well. Can't wait to get in it with you guys. All right, guys, so the microphone we're talking about is the Blue Yeti X right here. Um, you know, I saw a bunch of reviews online on how, you know, this mic is used for gaming, streaming, and much more podcasting, which guys, you guys know, I'm a part of Free Smoke. So, you know, make sure you go and check out, you know, Free Smoke on YouTube as well, too. We do uh, day daily videos Monday through Saturday, and also we, um, we do lives on Sundays and occasionally on Thursdays, too. So on top of that, which um, we'll get to this in a second, you know, I got a, I don't know why this is here. That's for another mod that I got for you guys on another day. But, um, we got a shock mount as well too, guys. Um, this is so when I do move the mic, there won't be any vibrations heard, um, you know, during, you know, when I'm recording, podcasting or, or gaming, which I do plan to do as well. Good investment for your setup. Then we got the um, the microphone stand by Pure Rama, which, uh, you know, all these all these products that I'll be reviewing, there there's links down in the description. They're Amazon based links, guys. I am an Amazon affiliate, so if you click on those links, you will be helping me out. Because if you buy the product off of that link, I will get a kickback from that. So I greatly appreciate you know whoever chooses those links as well. But yeah, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with the Yeti X. Unbox this real quick. Hey guys, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. I'd greatly appreciate it. We got some instructions on you know how to operate the uh the x which um i'll get into that later i need to get a good unboxing table too that's something in the future guys but yeah here's the uh the main event so this isn't the uh the final form i obviously got to take the mic out of this stand and put it on the mount this right here is what's gonna make me sound way better I really like the uh, I really like the finish on it too. It looks really really good. Put this out. This is the uh, the windshield for the um, the uh, the mic. So that's gonna go on here. Place that over here for now. So this is the shock mount, guys. And I'm not sure how close you can see it. I'm not, um, babe. I don't know if you want to get a little closer here, but um. You see these wires or strings right here? So if I, you know, were to touch it or something like that, it would keep the mic in place, if that makes sense. So like if something were to move, the vibrations would hit this then the, before they would touch the mic. So it would get, it would be a cleaner transition than you just hear the, the vibration of the mic moving. This is the one by Piorama. Uh, there's a bunch of, I think, budget microphone arms out there like i think the InnoGear one is uh is a good one as well but this one i like this one because you don't see the springs on the outside i wasn't a big fan of that and it seems pretty, pretty adjustable so um i can't wait to install this there's also the uh the uh the clamp as well which i clamp on the side of the desk Cause you're trying to figure out where to put it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could work. Yeah, it could work. Mm-hmm. Thank you. 
Yo guys, ran into a little problem. Um, not a big problem, but um, I basically, I had to order a longer wire, the, uh, the stock um, micro USB to uh, USB cable. It's not long enough. So when I, you know, try to run the cable down, I wouldn't connect over to the other side. I should have thought about that, but hey man, you gotta post your mistakes too. So let me uh, show you guys what I got going on here. So this is where I'm sitting right here, right? And you can see that I ran the wires. This is sitting really nice. I really, I really enjoy the way it looks. Um, so I got the wires, which I have the audio cable, the braided cable that I was talking about. And then this is the stock um, micro USB to USB. And as I'm running it, which these cable straps actually came with the, uh, the arm, the panorama arm, but, uh, yeah, so as I ran the cable down, you know, which I really like the design of this, like you just fit the cables. So this cable here, guys, this cable here is not, at least I don't think it's long enough. Let's see. I don't think it's long enough. Let's see. Cause it's like, I want it to be clean. You know what I mean? So it's like, if it's not clean, then there's no point in doing it because I don't want to see a wire going across the, the gap right here. Let's see where it is. It's there. Um, I could make it work, but it'd be ugly. So that's why we ordered it um, from Amazon. Hopefully it'll get here by tomorrow. But uh, yeah, guys, I gotta unfortunately stop right now because this is... Um, not gonna be good because if I can't plug it into the computer then I can't show you guys like how it works and the different quality and sound. All right guys, this is the final look of the Blue Yeti X. I really enjoy how the boom arm is behind the monitor so when I put it away, it's hidden. Also too, stay tuned for next Tuesday's video. I will be talking about settings with the Blue Yeti X and what all you can do to set this mic up for your needs. Hey guys, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. I'd greatly appreciate it.